We're going to see some subtraction now where we need to do some trading or regrouping. Let's see how they do it in this lesson. Remember how 110 is equal to 10 units? And 100 is equal to 10 tens? We can use these facts to help us do this problem. We have 563 and we want to take away 281. Let's start by subtracting the units first. We have three units, but we want to take away one. That leaves us with two units. Things get trickier when we look at the tens. We have six tens, but we want to take away eight. What should we do? Well, remember the fact that we can make equal trades? We do have five hundreds, and we know that five hundreds is the same as four hundreds and ten tens. So let's replace the five hundreds with four hundreds and ten tens. If you look at the ten tens and the six tens, you can regroup them to be sixteen tens. Sixteen tens minus eight tens leaves us with eight tens. Now all that's left is to look at the hundreds column. We have four hundreds and we're taking away two hundreds, which leaves us with two hundreds. So the difference is 282.